So on page 32, he, he makes more conclusions about itself as a being. So he says that the lowest level can only be itself. It can only, so he gives the example of fire. So fire only starts from other fire and generates more fire. That's, that's same with a rock or same with etc. Matter cannot be anything but itself. With plants, there's a higher level because you're making something new from matter, but still you're dependent on on that matter. Uh, with animals, there is some capacity to make new things, but it still uh, depends on uh, matter again. And with humans, uh, we have what he what he says is the intellect, and the intellect can understand itself and can reflect on itself but the reason why self-awareness is still limited is because we depend on learning through the world through the external world to to aid or generate our intellect we still require outside information not in the sense of dirt but in the sense of learning about the world so through our senses for example we still require outside stimulus to then generate our intellect. But he says that intellect is really what is the hot, the, even the fifth level, whatever the fifth level might be, which of course he's trying to make this case for God, right? He, said, he says uh, on page 32 that intellectual life is more perfect in the angels whose intellect does not proceed from something extrinsic to acquire self-knowledge, but knows itself by itself. And he says, therefore, the highest perfection of life belongs to God, whose understanding is not distinct from his being. And so it's self-generating. It's not dependent on the outside world, in which we still are in some respects, because if, even with our intellects, because our knowledge requires us to, to explore the outside world or, or to learn from other people, etc., but the self-generating cycling of an intellect is what he says is the highest level, because it, it's dependent on nothing but itself.